Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Back on the patio finally. Let up the rain here. When I've come out here, it's always been raining for the last couple of weeks. But um, today, nice night. You can see the stars. It's nice. A little bit of clouding, but very nice out. Not too cold. I just have the just the work jacket on tonight. No sweatshirts or anything on underneath. Very nice. And today I am smoking my my beloved Kaviki. This is one of my favorite pipes. This was a gift from the, my pipe club president, Jim Vitale. He gifted that pipe to me one day. I'm taking a one day break from the Mearsome because I was missing this pipe. So, and in it, I am smoking some H and H McBaron H and H Old Dark Fired Flake. One of my favorite tobaccos. One of my top three, actually. And I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. I say this every time I open this up, but... When you open that old dark fired up... Some guys say it smells like ketchup. And I get that. But to me, it smells like barbecue sauce. In fact, it smells like barbecued chicken to me is what I'm smelling when I smell this stuff. God, I just love that smell. And it tastes delicious. They come in beautiful flakes. Let me see if I can get you or you can see one. It's beautiful flakes. I always use the... fold stuff and twist method when I smoke these and of course that takes a few lights to get that going once it gets going <laughs> it'll give you a long cool relaxing smoke that way And to me, that's the whole reason for getting a flake, is to fold stuff and twist it. If, if you're going to just, you know, break it up, you might as well get, you know, ready rubbed. Get the old dark fired ready rub. Smoke that. It's cheaper. You can get it in bulk. And it's good stuff. But I like the flake because when you fold twist and stuff fold fold stuff and twist it burns slower I get more flavor out of it that way I find for me some guys don't like it but I get a much longer burn from it that way this stuff tastes just so good. It is just such a great tobacco. I 
like to buy the old dark fired ready rubbed uh, in bulk just to mix with other tobaccos because it's a great tobacco you just to use as a base for for other things um, I use that in my my dark hollow tobaccos and I'm gonna start mixing it with some other things too trying that out but uh and it's a good tobacco I'm starting to go for these straight pipes all of a sudden. I mean, not all of a sudden. I have a lot of straight pipes. But uh, even the 320s are kind of a straight pipe. They only have that little bit of a bend at the end. And the pipe that has my attention right now, surprisingly, is a Peterson. It's the Peterson 606 um, Aran, A-R-A-N. Um, it's just a pretty pipe, man. It just, it's kind of like the same shape as this. Uh, there's one that has like a band, silverish band on there. It's just a pretty pipe, man. And being Irish, there's just a draw towards the Petersons for me, even though when I, I've had a few and I gave gave one away that was kind of special to me. And uh, just because I knew the guy loved it. And uh, and that's, that's cool because I, I loved giving it to him because I knew he loved it and it made him cry so that was a good thing so uh, and I've gone out again here that's the one thing about the uh, folding stuff is sometimes it takes a while to get it going really good I've been looking at that pipe. And, uh, that's my that's my down the road pipe. It'll be getting some time down the road, but it's it's fun to look at pipes and. Uh, And just think about, yeah, I wouldn't mind having that pipe. There's a lot of pipes I'd like to have. But there's a lot of pipes I'd like to have that I will never, ever, ever in a million years have. But it's fun to look at them and just think, yeah, that's one I'd like to have. anything a hundred or under that's something that someday it may happen you know that's pretty much where I draw the line a hundred bucks smoking this pipe though mm. 
This is probably the most expensive pipe that I own. This one here. And it was a gift. So. Sure smokes good though. I was watching uh, Four Eyed Piper today, and uh, he had uh, he was showing all his Peterson pipes, and then he had uh, pipe stands like these that uh, Eric Rana, the uh, Road King Piper, makes. This one has my channel name on it, and I have one for the San Diego Pipe Club that he made for the San Diego Pipe Club members. And, uh, well, he, we ordered from him, and, uh, they're great stands. They are great stands. They hold every pipe imaginable. But, uh, Four Eyed Piper had all these green ones, and they all said Peterson on the front of them for all his Peterson pipes, and they matched the color matched the Peterson box. They were they were awesome. It was just neat that he had all that color for his Peterson pipes. Then he had a couple that were had Savinelli on them for his Savinellis. It was a great idea. That's about all I got. I'm just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy this bowl. So you guys have a good night. I will catch you later. God bless each and every one of you. I love you guys. Take it easy.